sure he can produce. Fly ball tagged to right, and that one is gone. Another home run off of Wells. That's the third today for Boston. A solo shot by Ortiz, and it is six to two. Yankee fan tosses it back onto the right field grass, but it's going to count. Ortiz belts his six. That was a no doubter. Boomer had him out in front of the big curveball, and I saw him staring him down in between inning, mm -hmm. in between pit outs. He's got the curveball now, but just no velocity. Line drive, base hit. You can see Cap was sitting on that breaking pitch. He's two for two. Both to his players to be on that team. Yeah, I think plenty of them are going to go. There's another walk. Bill Miller has drawn two walks today, and Wells just doesn't have it on this 4th of July. What is going to run him out of the ballgame today? Swing and a miss. He gets Veritek tied him up. That one thudding into the mid. He strikes out Veritek this trip, one away. Here's and one out. Slap towards short. Jeter to Soriano. No double play, no turn there. So they're safe at first and third with two away. Wells to turn that. Soriano doesn't realize that yet. Walker, first pitch swing. He may have helped out Wells there. And Garcia gets under it for the final out. But another run in on the David Ortiz home run. He goes yard for the sixth time this year. And the Red Sox lead by four. Up in his face. And then it back goes. How do you do? I don't know. Nobody else knows how he does it. Ventura, Millar feeding the pitcher the right-hander Derek Lowe so that's never happened to you before you're in the sand oh yeah booed as a relief pitcher broken bat roller behind third Miller hoovers it up and throws to get it Mondesi retired 5-3 two away down below that hitting zone that's not below. no it is not and it was completely lost by Kapler and now it is lost into the upper deck Karim Garcia that one out of the ballpark against Derek Lowe. I'll tell you what, if Kapler had been forced to make a catch on that, he never would have made it. He completely lost the flight of it, but it didn't matter. And the Yankees hit their second home run of the day. It is now 6-3. to three. Ball again. Off the end of the bat, fly it into right. Out goes Walker, in comes Kapler, and the right fielder will take it. A little bit of a battle there, but that's out number three. Garcia with a home run, his eighth of the year, and the Yankees are battling. It is six to three, Boston. He doesn't regain it. Well, unless they score five more runs here in the top of the fifth, the Yankees got a shot at regaining this lead again themselves. Oh, and by the way, the Red Sox are at it again. Right up there as well. If Bond's got more pitches to hit. Runner goes, but no throw by Posada. He had no shot at Nomar Garcia Parra on that high pitch. And it might have rolled a little bit in his glove. Well, you could see David Wells tapping himself on the chest saying that. I think he's got the 2-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. 91 miles an hour away from Manning. Line shot toward the gap. On the move, Mondesi. On the move. He makes the catch. A shoestring one-hander. And that fires into third to hold Garcia Parra at second base. Mondesi reaching down. Just inches off the grass and made a terrific catch. Oh, yeah. The same kind of tools. Ortiz slaps out one big bounce. Giambi calls it in. That took a dirt hop with Jason Corraldon. And they hold Garcia Parra thanks to the great play by Mondesi. 6-3 Boston. Some of the others were. Ground ball right side. That's through for a base hit. So Jeter on George Steinbrenner's birthday on 4th of July. That's up the single. Here's why you didn't see a breaking ball out of Derek Blow. But he is taken off. Here's the throw by Veritek. Too late. Wink a nod and a steal, and he's in the scoring territory. Well, this is how you... The Yankee captain. Ball four to Giambi. <laughs> Bounding ball, Walker. Has it to Garcia Parra. Double play. Jeter down to third. But a twin killing. Into the pin. Softly hit, charged by Walker. He gets it there in good shape for the final out. 
hopes that that run does not score and Lowe will qualify for the win, but he wants to go a little deeper in this one. And the Red Sox lead it six to three on the fourth of July. It was guaranteed no hit day today. Gently back to the hill and Wells throws on to get him. Wells has thrown a no hitter. This was the 20th anniversary of Dave Rigetti's no hitter. Let's go to the a lot off that last curveball. High fly ball deep into left. Garcia fading back, racing hard now. It pulls up. He leaps. He can't get it. It's gone. Bill Miller with his sixth home run of the year. Boston leads it 7-3. The Red Sox belting their fourth home run of the day just out of the reach of a jumping Karim Garcia in left. You get a lot of different signs from the flag. And 30 seconds from now, I'll be blowing in. That one driven deep to left center. That one is a chance. And that one's gone. Veritek with his second home run today. He lights up David Wells. Two homers and four RBIs for the Red Sox catcher. He's making a bit of a statement that maybe it's he and not Posada who ought to be leading the all-star vote in his position. Get overpowered there, Damon did. Now he has to get the first close play. Got him. That was awfully close. Wells had to go all the way over again. Let's go to the studio. Here's Dave. Walker is over three. Not anymore. That should be it. I think that's it for Wells. Yep, it is. Here comes Torrey. You're right. No longer do. Jason Anderson, the 24-year-old out of the University of Illinois. Well, he's been up and down a lot already this year, but what a remarkable story just to get to the big leagues and part of it. Runner goes, and it's going to get by Posada. And up into first base on ball four, Garcia Parra. So runners at first and second now. No advance beyond second by Walker. Count of one ball and one strike. Posada can't find it, and both runners will advance. Walker in the third and Nomar in the second. A couple of pitches have in this inning. Eaten up the catcher Posada. But the bases are filled up. Line right caught by Ventura. That was smoked by Millar. But Ventura picks it off to deny him more success with the bases loaded. So Boston leaves him that way, but they also hit two over the fence in the inning. And it's eight to three, the Red Sox through five and a half. Walker gets to it in plenty of time and throws out Posada, now 0 for 3. If at all possible, Derek Lowe's doing that right now. And he's doing it on a lot of soft ground balls like that. He said the catching wasn't any good, <laughs> but the fishing was good. Kapler calls it off. He makes that catch. It's a one, two, three inning for Derry Glow. Yeah, he settled him down. Eight to three, Boston in command at the end of six.